Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of my new fish room. I'm gonna take you tank from tank and um, show you what's inside. Everything's pretty much um, stocked in most of the tanks, so right now is a good time. All right, here we go. All right, first off, I have this pair of gold garden rye killifish. I heard they can colony breed so I'm just kind of leaving them in here I'm not really pulling out that mop or anything I do check it from time to time but no luck yet uh, they did once have a fry that grew kind of large but somehow they got lost I don't know what happened to that guy yeah that's that tank and next is my lone histogram of cockatoides uh, his female sadly recently just passed away so I'm gonna have to somehow find a female for him hopefully someday I can do that but, um, I think it's funny how this this tank has that coconut that looks like a, a guy with a toupee with his mouth open all right that's that tank uh, this tank actually has no fish in it right now uh, this is where I'm gonna put um, some rice fish that I'm getting from 54 Punchy. Uh, can't wait for that to happen. Alright, in this tank I have um, a colony of Blue Dreams. Um, also I have three, let's see if I can find them, three panda shrimp. Uh, let's see, this. Oh, I see one on this side. Kind of hard to make out. There now it is. Right now, that's my favorite shrimp. I only have three of them, so hopefully they breed. Alright, let's move on to the bottom rack. Okay, here I have my beta fry. And these are only about uh, five days old. Um, I did take out the male already, but um, I'm not sure if the camera's picking them up. They're super tiny right now. Um, right now they're eating vinegar eels, baby brine shrimp. Um, I do throw in some baby moina, which is a type of Daphne in this tank. Um, and I, I did see them kind of biting at it, but I haven't really seen them um, eat one whole. They might be a little bit too big for them still. But this is a very, very large spawn of a bit of fry. Here we go. Here's a little bit better shot. You guys can see them there. But that, uh, this is actually my first um, better spawn, so I'm pretty excited about it. All right. All right. Next tank here is my hill stream tank, and um, it's been a while since I showed you guys how um, what it looks like. But um, the nice thing about this tank is they actually had um, a lot of fry. Um, the long fin white clouds did anyway. Um, the hill streams did not yet, but they're doing good. Um, right now they're just kind of hiding out in the back over there. Okay, uh, this tank over here is actually where I keep the the baby white clouds. Uh, they are really growing up quite a bit. They're um, about three quarters of the size of the adults over here. Yeah, and I think I counted about 15 of them. Uh, not too big of a spawn, but um, I did take them out, out of the parents' tank in hopes that um, the parents would have more fry. My theory was that maybe the juveniles were eating anything that might, um, any new babies that might come out. But uh, that was a while ago, and I haven't had any fry since. Also, in this tank, I have some albino koi guppies. And these females are huge. Yeah, they're ready to burst anytime now. So these are vinyl guppies. They're they're um they're real fry eaters. So as soon as you see them, you gotta take these babies out. So hopefully I'll catch them in time. I do have one blown um drake fin barb. The rest of the drake fin barbs are still in this pond, but I decided to take one out just so that I can see it. These are the fry, one of the fry that I had. There are also some plecos. There should be about four red plecos and 
I've got a long chain of wine, I played this in this thing. Yeah, that's this thing. Alright, this tank is my crocodile pikefish tank. And uh, these guys are really hard to see. In fact, I'm not sure if you're able to spot one, but I swear they're in here somewhere. I just threw in some baby um, moina, which is a type of daphnia. So hopefully you get them to come out. Here's a look at one right now. As you can see, they're super small. Oh, there you go. That's why they're hard to see. But um, yeah, one day I'll do a spotlight on these guys so you can get a little bit better look. This is kind of a dark water tank. All right. Next is my Pseudomugo Luminatus tank. I have two males and two females and I've tried to breed these guys for the longest time. Um, and I've only had actually one fry so far. Um, but so I put in this spawning up and I was able to pull some fry um, here and there. Right. That's that tank. Next is my Pseudomugo Protrude tank. I think these are Aru 3s. They kind of have this orange tinge to their body. They're not a pure white look. There's about eight of them. And um, I have a spawn them off back there. They're also throwing eggs. I collect them uh, about every few days to get some eggs out of here. Okay, and this tank I have a pillar in the way. But um, this is where I keep my. German blue rams. Uh, I think that's the male, kind of has long fins. Um, and also, I have some um, Kakatoidi, not not Kakatoidi, um, Epistogramma juriensis. There's a couple over there, I'm not sure um, if they're male or fear male or not. Uh, I guess we'll find out one day. But I just put this pot over here and I noticed that these rams um, instantly took to it, so hopefully this works out. Okay, and this tank, um, I have a couple uh, Bino Bushnose Plecos that I actually got from Big Easy um, in Ohio. Um, and they're in this tank, and I have about 15 of these Micro Rasboras. And I also have some Neon Blue Gobies in this tank. Um, it looks like they're not out right now. Hiding somewhere. Here's one of those obies. I think this might be a female. It doesn't really have the blue on it and it has kind of a more clear body. Okay. Um, in this tank I have some sparkling grummies. And I think these fish are one of the most um, underrated fish in the hobby. With their nice blue eye. I have about three in this tank. I think I should actually put some more in here. Kind of hiding right now. Alright, now we're heading over to the next rack over here. This is actually a rack that my wife takes care of. Um, and she kind of, she actually has a lot more tanks than I do. Um, but here we go. This, this is the first one. This is the male guppy tank, and this is where um, we keep several strains of guppies. Um, you can see the double air red mosaic guppies and the Japan blue grass males. And I really like this setup because um, when we do sell some of the guppies, it's easier to pull them from. The from here because we can see them easily um, and here we have some high fin plecos as well I like those guys all right the next tank over is the where are they there should be three discus somewhere in this tank oh they're hard I think I just kind of woke them up but I actually bought these these guys for Valentine's Day for my wife 
and they were like a size of a dime maybe now they're only a size of a quarter so they're not growing super fast um i haven't gotten them to eat pellets yet they're still only eating live food so yeah i'm not sure if anybody has advice on how to get these guys on dry food leave it down in the comments this is this is the first time we've owned discus all right so here is um another guppy tank this is the female guppy tank and then here is the female uh dumbo red mosaics and some dumbo binocoys let's see can see in here oh and, and the the japan blue the blue grass as well all right it's heading on down here um these are a couple um, snowball plecos or l201s that i bought from, from ohio and i also bought these for my wife and they're they're not very much fun but they're very pretty much pretty fish they just kind of stain these caves and you can hardly see them but yeah they're pretty all right um in this tank we have some pseudomugle fricatas and my wife has been breeding these um i guess she's a better breeder than me because um she just bought the, a pair of these and they had fry and and when she put the fry up here she she set up this um breeding setup where she just puts a container up here and her sponge filter will pump in some water and then she uh, cut a hole here put some sponge so that it overflows and so right now she has about three fry in here i'm not sure if we can catch them in the camera this one right there that i see um but yeah she, she just had fry in, in, the, in the top here she saw it and she just dumped them in here no problem she's lucky she's not to touch all right right here is a batch of super dragon dumble ear guppies that i got from twin city guppies um there should be two trios in here and they did actually um have some fry already they're getting the fry are a little bit big but they didn't have um too large of a drop so there's not too many fry at this moment uh, but some of the females are really large so hopefully they'll have some bigger clutches soon and here's um, another one of her breeding containers that she's made all right over here we have some what are these blue moscow it's the females i'll show you the males later on but this is a a string that we got from a fellow hobbyist that's part of our um Honolulu aquarium society club yep, i really appreciate those those are some really nice guppies i'll show you the males Let's see um here we go so these are not just only the males but um this is some of the breeding breeding pairs that we have for the blue moscows Nice fish. Uh, let's see what we have in this tank. Um, all right, this is a fry. Oh, just some double ear fry. All right, over here we have a small colony of Maltese. These are shell dwellers. I took a bunch of babies from my upstairs tank and I put them down here because my wife wanted to keep some of them separate. There's a cool. Here's our CO2 setups. Alright, uh, this is two of her Oscars that she's keeping. There's an albino and a regular colored one. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had a, an Oscar, but they're pretty cool. Sociable. I was begging for food. Alright, over here we have another batch of male double ears and a pretty nice planet tank that she's um, actually running CO2 on okay oh we got some batches of Daphne let's see what's in this tank I don't know what to call these but I've had this this guppy for a while it's kind of a purplish color 
I don't know what it is, but I kind of like them when I just been keeping them in this tank. Alright, in this tank we have um, a colony of male metalhead black leaves. This is one of my favorite puppies here. And I think I'm gonna post these for sale pretty soon. These are ready to go. Look at them. Very strain. Very happy about those. And last but not least is a tank full of Daphnia. You can never have too many um, setups of Daphnia just in case one crashes. This is a 20 long. And then we also have a bunch of buckets full of them too. Okay, I hope you guys like the tour of my fish room. And uh, let me know if you guys want a spotlight of one of these tanks if you guys want me if you have any questions um, on any of them in particular uh, let me know in the comments and I can do it in a future video alright thanks for watching